happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. How do we work with the government to just help you guys? I, I also, I'm going to make a bit of a sharp statement here. I strongly believe you guys are going to be in power for a very long time. So, we, we might as well talk about a 5, 10, 15, 20 year plan. How do influencers like social media folks help you guys more to take the country further? Don't help the government. Help the country. Okay. Your job is to take care of the country's interests. And then you'll automatically be helping us. You'll be helping everybody. Like entrepreneurship again. No, now let me put it this way. First of all, we need to generate the confidence in our people. Every Indian should feel confident that together we can make India a developed nation. Now imagine if 10 of you at different forums talk about bold, big measures that we are all going to take together to make India a prosperous nation. It will it'll rub off on others. Gotcha. It'll excite people to do more. Okay. Integrity and a corruption-free India. Mm. Suppose more and more of you talk about it. Giving a bribe is worse, if you ask me, than the guy who's asking for it. Make your voice vocal. Speak about it. Speak up against such people. Okay. Let's get the youth of India, encourage them to fight against corruption. Let's encourage the youth of India to go in for skills mm. rather than just degrees. Okay. Let's, let's pass on the message that there's no work which is demeaning. You know, you, you'll have a Bill Gates son or daughter working in a McDonald's in America. Mm. There's dignity of labor. If we can spread the word of dignity of labor. Gotcha. I can continue on and on, but believe me, government cannot do everything. Mm. We'll all, we are all in it together. Mm. And if we are all going to align ourselves, keeping only one basic fundamental in mind, that we are not going to fall prey to misinformation. We are not going to become proponents of misinformation. We are not going to start trying to appease a section of society or dividing society. We're going to be trying to get everybody connected and connected with hope for the future, with confidence for the future. Okay. No power on earth can stop okay. India, my friend. Okay. I invite you to go join politics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe, maybe. If I find Why a mentor, not? if I find a mentor, you know, you never, I had this. I, I'm happy to offer myself. Really? Absolutely. If you are willing to look at society, look at your brothers and sisters in India, 140 crore Indians, as your responsibility, as people you care for, as people whose lives matter to you. I think you love being in politics. You can really contribute. Two questions. One, I know that anyone in the world of politics is a very sharp reader of people. So you've read something and I want to know what you've read in me. Two, what is the basic skill set you actually need? Like there has to be some sort of basic potential energy there. Like Kohli, the first time he picked up a bat, probably hit the ball well. So what's the basic skill set? I think, uh, first of all, when it comes to you, I, I think uh, your honesty shows and you have a smile which is infectious. And in politics, both are very important. Really? Very important. Like your look? Yeah, not your look, your connect. Okay. Uh, well, looks don't give you a smile. A smile has to come from within. Mm. And what people want are happy people. What people want are people who care for them. What people want are, is somebody who's empathetic to them, compassionate to them. You can do good politics, believe me. As can a lot of youngsters I come across these days. And I'm finding this increasingly becoming an area of choice for many youngsters. At the same time, continue your profession. Okay. Delve in politics, learn the ropes, but continue your professional career so that politics is not the means to an end. Gotcha. Politics should be your passion until you have enough for your family and your needs so that you can get full time into politics. Okay. Which is why I'm able to do politics today. Because I spent 30 years in the business world. And I'm today self-sufficient. Same way, I think uh, you don't need any great skill sets. You need to be true to yourself 
and the skill sets you pick up along the way. Oratory, for example. Usually you associate politics with oratory. I can tell you, I know so many politicians who were absolutely poor orators. Some almost till the end of their political career, but their sincerity pulled them through. Some who picked up oratory along the line. So, your connect with people comes with your, from your heart. Your connect with people comes from your concern for them, your attitude to them, your being approachable to them. And naturally, people get drawn to somebody whom they trust. You have to earn their trust. That's politics. What can go wrong in this journey? Ego. Well, ego certainly can go, can make you uh, too big for your boots and that's something one has to be very, very cautious about. Remaining grounded is very important. Uh, good point you've picked up, my friend. What can also go, go wrong sometimes is circumstances. It can happen. Luck. I don't know so much about luck. Possibly, yes. Possibly somewhat destiny. But sometimes circumstances also can go wrong. Can be misunderstood. Something may happen because of which you are even wrongly or falsely in trouble. All of those things can happen. Yeah. Those are the risks of every profession. Okay. And uh, I think in business also people fail. It's not that they wanted to fail when they got into it. It's not that they cheated or they did wrong, but circumstances sometimes create a problem. Okay. So I think it's... Uh, there's no guarantee of success in anything. But certainly no guarantee that you'll fail also. Hmm. So give it a shot. Okay. Okay. This is the first time I've ever realistically thought of this because on the show, we've often spoken about how the way content creation is going, the capturing, I mean, I'm saying this, it is like me blowing my trumpet, but content creators are capturing huge masses of people. So at some point, at least a few of the content creators will want to shift to the world of politics and make a difference to the country in another way. That'll be wonderful. It's not a crazy thought, right? Not at all. In fact, I okay. would encourage you to invite people to come and maybe approach you. There are so many opportunities. In my office, for example, we have a lot of interns. We have a lot of young professionals, some of whom were here before the show started. We have a lot of them who would do very well in the private sector, in their business life, in the service. But they want to experience what public life is. They want to experience what working in government is, what public policy is all about, right. how laws are framed, how government thinks. And it's a very interesting experience. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this playlist for more videos just like this. It's TRS Clips.